Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Let's Play Fallout New Vegas. The initial battle seems to be over. This definitely isn't Glanton, it's the sheriff who tried to run when he heard the Legion was coming. We want to go down here and uh, I believe parlay with the Legion commander. I believe there was supposed to be a Legion runner that came up to tell us this. However, unfortunately, the mod kind of bugged out and I had to console my way out of the problem. So our current objective is to face the Legion commander who is uh, down here. So that's what we're going to do. Now that we've killed hundreds of his minions, it seems like. It was certainly a lot. Where is that? Where the hell is he? Um. Okay, where is this asshole? Yeah, that's what I was going to... Oh, there they are. Scott, Russell, you have no idea how glad I am that he didn't bug out again there. <laughs> I really thought it had. So the champion approaches. Hopefully one worthy of my skill. One moment. I recognize the figure with you. Yes. Yes, sweet, sweet Amator. It's you, isn't it? What a fortuitous turn of events. Uh... Are you talking about Russell? Is that what he goes by now? To me, he'll always be my Rufus. My red lover. So soft. So sweet. He didn't tell you about us, did he? Uh, didn't come in to talk about Russell. Gotta be honest. Very well. Anything else before we begin? Just you and two goons, and that's it. These are the finest warriors in my cohort. Yeah, what's left Ulso of it? Ulso and Saranus. Each is strong in limb and master of the Great Hammer. They will crush your skull and smash your living guts into paste. Mars will see to it. Will he indeed? <sighs> Why do you have to insist on talking so much? Just shut up and fight. At once. All right. Let's start this I've been knocked over. Not really sure what's going on. Okay, we're back up. We're back up. That's a sheesh kebab. And he's still not dead. Holy fuck! And I'm extremely dead. <laughs> oh boy, it just turned into tiny pieces. I'm not sure how that happened. I feel like I might have been minigunned to death by a bad motherfucker there, to be honest. What the fuck was that? Alright, let's do this again. <laughs> okay. That was interesting. Okay, where is this asshole? There he is. Okay, cool. Should we just quick save it now? So the champion approach. Yes, 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 yes. Russell, whatever. Blah, blah, blah. Over here. Oh, dear. Oh, wait, hang on a minute. I've got other options here. Whoa, steady on there. Right, let's deal with you first. Uppercut. Cross. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Hold on. That seems to do a lot of damage. Except it doesn't. 
That's amazingly cool. As in, not cool whatsoever. Russell has died. Fantastic. This is not going according to plan at all. Cass has died. I feel like... No, you can't kill bad motherfucker that much, sir. Wow. Okay, this guy... No fucking joke, as it turns out. Really uh, kind of diffuses the tension of the moment, doesn't it, a bit, when you have to just keep reloading it time and time again, for God's sake. It's just getting ridiculous. So the champion appro- Yeah, 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 okay. Uh, whatever, just get on with it. Reload. Russell, you stupid fucking... <sighs> reload. I mean, reload. I mean, oh, what the hell's a hockey? I don't know. Oh, not safe. Oh, no, no, no. This is... One of those moments where companions aren't necessarily helping. So the champion... Yes, all right, you know what? Fuck it. Over here. That's just absolutely fuck all, isn't it? Okay, Russell, stay down for a minute, will you? All right, he's now a pile of slag. Let's see if we can do the same to you. He did it. I thought I'd see that fuck again. Watch, let's get a shot at him. What you've done for me. I don't know how to say it. I spent most of my life thinking of how I'd kill him, the ways I'd hurt him. It was over so fast, I, I just couldn't imagine finding him here. I can't believe he's dead. His corpse is still warm right over there. But it hasn't sunk in. I was about to ask, do you want any help with that? Looks like you got to kill him as well. I I dealt with the henchman and, uh... Yep. Titus's shish kebab. Helm of Titus. Trophy, I guess? Armor of Titus. I don't think so. Oh, hang on a minute. It's worth a lot of money. Can I carry it? Yeah, I can just about. All right. All right, you piece of shit. Uh, what about your shish kebab? Can I not take that now? Or did, or did I already take that? Yeah, I know. I did. Okay. Um... Not much left of this one. <laughs> well then. Hallelujah, hallelujah, our prayers are answered. The Lord sent you to repel the demonic hordes and they are vanquished. We gathered in the cave holding hands, praying for your success and the Lord heard us. Thank you, stranger. We are forever indebted to you. The town's safe. I'm going after Glanton. Yes, he went to chastise the idolaters. I hope he accomplished his task. Those villains will burn in hell. When your business with Glanton's finished, please see me. I cannot let you depart without some type of compensation. We need to see what became of the sand walls. I don't know if I can stomach the sight of any more blood today. Mm-hmm. Where are we going? Up that way, presumably.
Okay. How many people have I killed today? I actually have lost count. I genuinely don't know anymore. Look, I've, I've killed so many people, I'm hallucinating. Look at all this shit right here. Like, what? what is this? I don't know. Apparently I'm the only one seeing it, though. This was not worth 10,000 caps. And you know what the thing is? Even if I get those 10,000 caps, it'll still only put me 1,000 caps in profit thanks to earlier's fuck up. God damn it. This was a terrible idea. Russell, I mean this in the nicest way possible, but I really wish I'd never met you. Say we thirsty at all. Could do with a drink either way, actually, having said that, you know. Yeah. Well, not much left here. Except for Clanton did this. And we let him get away. I mean, sand wolves were rough, but I wouldn't do this to animals. This, it reminds me of when the Legion came, what they did to my tribe. How did we let this happen? Legion didn't give us a choice, Russell. Clanton was one step ahead. We have to let him go. God damn, I'd hate to do that. This is exactly what I fought against, innocent people getting butchered. Some of the warriors would have gone down fighting, but the rest? Clanton had no right. You ever go after him again, I want to be there. Yeah, I wouldn't deny you that. This is pretty fucking mad. Why does one of them have an AK-47? <laughs> Sorry, an AK-74. Um, is it any good? Nineteen, two twenty-eight, eighteen, one seventy-seven. I mean, it has style points. It sounds kind of cool. Reloads pretty quick, too. I kind of like it, actually. I know the HK's got the scope on it, but... Oh, I tell you what, I, I, I like this. It fits better. I think I'll keep it. There is not a lot left, is there? Okay. Well, the award for my least favorite place in the universe definitely has to go to Carruthers Canyon. Uh... Yep, pretty much. I, I would actually rather be in Nipton right now than here. And that's saying something. But it's the truth. Oh yeah, they were working for the Legion. Let's not forget that, I suppose. Well, shit, boys and girls, I think that's it. That's all she wrote. Glanton's gone.
And uh, frankly, at this point... Oh, really? Really? At this point, if I have to keep chasing him, I don't think I'm actually going to survive by the time I get to him. After everything it took to get us here. Bomb the mayor of the Sandwolf Fate. Yep, that's it. Defend Silverwood seems to be stuck in there, but I think that's because the quest glitched out, like I said. Alright. Well, let's go speak to the mayor, and then I'm going home. I'm going home, Russell. I don't know, you can do what you want to do, man, but I'm going home. I'm going back to Good Springs. I'm taking a holiday. And... Probably some medication for all the horrifying shit I have seen this week. Alright, well, welcome back to Silverwood. What's left of it? There's Hobo Charlie up there. <laughs> How you doing, Charlie? Howdy. Uh, I don't suppose I could now have that back. You've only got three grenades left. Jesus Christ. You didn't, uh, you didn't, you didn't spare any expenses with the ammo there, did you? You can keep the combat armor if you like. Um. Wow. So where's the mayor at then? Probably up in, up in the town hall, I suppose. At least all you people are still alive, I guess that's the main thing. I wonder if the bartender survived. Hello, Palm Lee. Just be back in a minute. What the? What the fuck's the mayor gone? Pointer is taking me in this direction. Hey. Is he in here? No. Okay. Where is this dude? He's down there for some reason. Okay, fine. Why are you pacing up and down out here? Yes. Okay. Go out and kill all the sand walls, women and children included. The, their blood is on your hands. Well and truly. I can tell from the look in your eyes that the aftermath was horrifying. Weigh that passing horror against the agony of a prolonged struggle. Just look around this town. Consider the lives he saved. I know we did the right thing. Those savages were less than animals. With no souls. Glanton's blade was guided by God. His will be done. You know what? I was thinking about carrying on and talking to him about other stuff, but I don't want to fucking say anything to this asshole. I, I'm, I'm so done with him and this place, and my scotch is now worn off, so that's grand. Russell and Cash are having some uh, pathfinding issues, and I'm just about done with this place, honestly. 100%. Bad motherfucker, my man. That's too much. This asshole wants to talk about God. After he hid in the caves while we saved the fucking town? He's just like the others. Not enough balls to stand up and fight, but he'll send Glanton to butcher women and babies. I'm doing it, and don't you say shit about the town. Look in their eyes. They hate him now. The man has to answer for what he's done. <sighs> just, okay, Russell, dude, hold on. Listen to me for a moment and just think this through. Fuck that. Fuck the rationalizing, the explanations, the goddamn lies. He, he's just like the rest of them, hiding behind his desk, sending better men and women out to die in his place. Brandon is the NCR. He's a slimy, backstabbing worm who only wants to use these people who will send a man to slaughter women and children. You really want to stand with him? Is that what I'm hearing from you? I thought you were a friend. 
someone who could tell right from wrong. This knife? It's better than any goddamn judge and jury out there. Why should I stop? Tell me. Tell me! Yeah, my friend, Russell, for better or worse. Uh, trust me when I say it, you're a good man and you won't do this. Come on. Killing this dude is not going to help anybody. There are hundred, literally hundreds of bodies lying around out there. Do you really? Is there any point in adding another one to them at this point, man? I've had enough. I don't know about you. What would a good man do? It's been a long time since I've seen a good man, Courier. I just... I don't know if I can live with it. Seeing what happened here. All these people died for assholes like Brandon. But you are my friend. And I do trust you. You haven't let me down yet. I'll find a way to live with this. Letting Brandon live. I'm going to be there when you go after Glanton, though. You owe me that much. Motherfucker? Motherfucker. You know something, bad motherfucker? I'm beginning to understand why you have reached a point where that is literally all you can say anymore. I, uh... I've begun to see your point of view in a way that I never had previously. Now let's just fucking go home. So it happened that the battle over Caruthers Canyon concluded with a decisive victor, the town of Silverwood. The actions of three outsiders, the Courier, Russell, and Glanton, had irrevocably changed the canyon. With their tribe decimated by Glanton, the remaining Sand Wolves fled Caruthers Canyon, forever traumatized by the destruction of their kin. Though few in number, the survivors swore an oath to enact vengeance on Glenn and the courier who failed to stop him. With the canyon securely in NCR hands, Silverwood quickly developed into a regional hub for mining and commerce. Settlers from across California flocked to the town, eager to share in its prosperity. Civilization had made its mark. Within a few years, most of the townsfolk had never heard of the Sand Wolves, though a few would never forget. Eventually, word of a great duel in Utah reached town. Travelers said the courier had died, then rose again to fight the man in black. The people of Silverwood prayed for the courier, though they feared the worst. Prompted by the courier's timely intervention, Vickers eventually won his fight with substance abuse. Aided by the followers, he would find new purpose counseling homeless veterans who struggled with alcoholism and addiction to chems. In time, Vickers heard rumors of the courier's death but also of his resurrection, and a duel with the man in black. He would pray for the courier, and for justice. Forced to abandon Chola Mountain due to the inroads of the marauding tunnelers, Hendershot tried to re-establish himself in Westside. Unfortunately, the Van Graaff saw to his demise before he made his first deal. The disillusion with their lot in the Mojave, Finley remained loyal to the Khans, if only out of respect to his late friend Chance. In his private moments, he hoped to live long enough to see the Khans revitalized, mercifully destroyed. Reveling in the defense of Silverwood, Charlie's bravery was lauded by the townspeople of Silverwood. With his newly arrived service records in hand, Charlie immediately became a respected figure in Silverwood. As the previous sheriff had abandoned his office, a collection of citizens urged Charlie to run. Though initially hesitant, he eventually agreed, and won in a landslide victory. Hobo Charlie was no more. He was now Sheriff Charlie. Standing beside his fellow townspeople, Briggs died defending those who could not defend themselves. Along with the other fallen defenders, he was given a burial with full honors, and his name was included in a small memorial. At his request, he was buried with his posters. 
Shrewdly avoiding the battle with the Legion, Miss Cat continued servicing throngs of enthusiastic clients. Unfortunately, the peace came at a price. As more families moved in, ordinances against prostitution eventually compelled her to move on. After leaving town, she traveled to New Reno, where she was rumored to thrive as a fluffer in the pornographic film industry. Despite his urge to leave office, Mayor Brandon heeded the courier's advice and stayed the course. Despite his newfound religiosity, Brandon had acquired a reputation for cowardice and corruption, and was promptly voted out of office. Eventually, he published a memoir of his career. Though the book was a commercial failure, it endured as required reading for students. Brandon would live out the rest of his days in obscurity, dying penniless and alone. Moved by the Courier's encouragement, Sullivan moved to Reno and opened his own gym. Though he initially struggled, Sullivan eventually gained recognition for his skill as a coach and would be sponsored by the Bishop family. He would go on to train some of the most successful prize fighters in New Reno. Avoiding the battle for Silverwood, Parmley resumed his duties as a Courier, delivering parcel across the Southwest. Parmley didn't think about the courier until he heard rumors of a legendary duel somewhere in the mountains of Utah. He heard that the courier had emerged from the grave to fight a man worse than any other. Some said he fought the devil himself. Hearing this, Parmley decided the lifestyle of a courier didn't suit him anymore. He would go on to marry and settle in Redding. With the blood of the sand wolves dripping from his blade, Glanton and his gang set out for new frontiers. Travelers spoke about him in hushed tones mentioning distant tribes scalped, whole villages destroyed. Others said he went to Utah. They spoke of an unholy alliance, then whispered another name, Marco. What began as a simple bounty job had grown into a powerful experience for Russell, one which would forever alter his identity and outlook. Having grown to trust the courier, Russell learned that the bonds he found in the Desert Rangers were not entirely unique. This new friendship forged through shared hardships, revived a feeling he hadn't felt in a decade. Hope for the Mojave Wasteland and himself. Though Russell would remain haunted by the massacre of the Sand Wolves, he found peace with the demise of his former owner, Titus Vulcanus. Russell hoped he would be able to repay the courier somehow, though he suspected it wouldn't take long. He knew that their greatest challenges were waiting in the Mojave Wasteland and in distant lands. Because war, war never changes. As I walked out in the streets of New Reno, as I walked out in New Reno one day, I spied a young cowboy all wrapped in white linen Wrapped in white linen and cold as the clay Oh, beat the drum slowly and play the fife lowly Play the dead march as you bear me along Take me to the valley and lay the sod o'er me I'm a young cowboy, I know I've done wrong I see by your outfit that you are a cowboy These words he did say as I slowly walked by Come sit down beside me and hear my sad story I'm shot in the chest and today I must die Go bring me a cup, a cup of cold water To cool my parched lips, the cowboy then said before I returned, his soul had departed And gone to the roundup, the cowboy was dead Oh, beat the drum slowly and play the fife lowly 
Lay the dead march as you bear me along. Take me to the valley and lay the sod o'er me. For I'm a young cowboy, I know I've done You know something, this is actually a genuinely really, really nice gun. Randall had seriously good taste, what can I say? But, uh... I don't know, man. I feel like this uh, whole bounty hunting thing is a bit of a mistake, perhaps. I mean, think about it, we got into it to earn money, and so far... We've kind of... not done a brilliant job, I mean, you know... We went out there to get 10,000 caps for Glanton, and uh, I actually lost well over 10,000 in the process of finding him. At which point he promptly fucked off. It was a bit of a disaster on the whole. And then we, we were working for Randall as well, and now he's dead. I've got his gun. The judge is dead. All of the judge's friends are dead. Um, and on top of that, we've massacred... A, indirectly, because we didn't stop Glanton, an entire tribe of uh, sand wolves. Uh, we've killed hundreds more Legion soldiers, so we've now pissed off the Legion again. Um, so they're now, they're now back to attacking us on site at every opportunity, which is just grand. On the whole, I don't think it was worth it, do you? At least we got this house, I suppose, and we got the casino. Well, you know, our share of the casino, which is uh, less than I probably thought it would have been. I'll have to go down there at some point and get our uh, get our share of the winnings or whatever. Actually, at some point, come to think of it. But yes, we've got a house with a nice garden. I suppose that's what we have to show for all of this mess. And this had nothing to do with bounty hunting either. I mean, I suppose I paid for some of the bits of it using the bounty hunting money, but. That's about it, really. Hmm. <laughs> Do you remember when my chief concern in life was just finding Benny so that I could get my revenge? Right now, he's up there, buried on the top of that hill. And he is living a far more peaceful existence right now than I am. <laughs> Man, I'm alive. I, I, yeah. Doesn't know how good he's got it, that lad. I swear. Ugh. Well, so what do we do now? I mean, we need more money. We've got a bit now, but that's not going to last very long. Um. Russell's taken his share of the, you know, of what we've got left, because, you know, that's only fair enough. And I gave some to Cass as well for dragging her through that mess. And you, well, you know, you got your extra large teddy bear, so you don't really mind so much, but, uh... Yeah. I think we need a different job. Thinking of a career change, bad motherfucker. I'm thinking we need to switch paths a bit. And by that, I do not mean going to see Mr. Caesar up on his hill with platinum chip in hand. That can fuck right off, along with Mr. House, as far as I'm concerned. We need something steady. Steady going, straightforward, basic, pay some bills. And preferably something where I still get to shoot stuff. Since that seems to be the only marketable skill I actually have at this point. I'm good at killing things, even Randall said so, so... Yeah... Well... I don't know... Bounty hunters off the table. Sure as shit, not joining the army. Uh, <laughs> Good Springs doesn't really need a sheriff. Uh, but caravan guard. Yeah. Yeah, that could work. Yeah, a caravan guard wouldn't be the worst thing ever. I mean, you know. What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> 